you may have seen wind turbines like the ones mentioned here. These massive machines convert moving air into electricity. And the science and engineering behind the design, manufacturing and installations are truly impressive, particularly when it comes to their blades. With the significant advancement happening in material science, you may already be aware that these ever-growing wind turbine blades make use of high-performance lightweight materials such as composite materials. These materials offer a superior stiffness to weight ratio and corrosion resistance, resulting in a longer lifespan and making them the perfect choice for turbine blades. But how do composite materials withstand the different loads placed on the blades? The answer lies in different layers of composite materials used and their material alignment with loads. For example, the spar cap of the turbine blade may be predominantly subjected to tension or compression when the blades bend. So unidirectional composite materials can be used for this component. The outer shell has an aerodynamic shape to generate the required lift to make the turbine rotate. This aerodynamic surface is subjected to air pressure and needs to withstand buckling from compression and shear. The shell could use a sandwich composite type with core materials made from balsa, foam or honeycomb. Thus wind turbine blades are made of different layers of composites which are one type of layered composites. In this lesson, we will explore why layered composites are used, delving into their advantages and some cool applications. Before we proceed, let's do a quick recap of what layer composites are. Layer composites are typically made of multiple layers of fibers and matrix and can also include layers of other materials such as steel or homogeneous polymers. The orientation of the layers as well as the fibers can be modified to meet the required stiffness and strand properties. Layered composites are one of the most commonly used composites in engineered structures. They offer unique benefits such as tailoring the design to achieve the necessary stiffness and strength, whether that is in-plane, bending, torsion or shear. This customization allows for a wide range of applications. Layered composites can be fairly simple and inexpensive like surfboards made of fiberglass and foam. On the other hand, they can also be very complex and expensive, such as those used in critical applications like airplane wings. In these cases, the placement and orientation of every ply are critical and the manufacturing process is highly controlled. Layered composites also permit flexibility in using different materials for different layers allowing customization of thermal, electrical, corrosion, and abrasion resistance. For example, a turbine blade or airfoil that might be impacted by debris can have a layer of plastic-based protection, like some kind of PU coating, for example, added to protect the underlying strength of the carbon fiber. Or a part may incorporate layers of Kevlar to improve resistance to impact. Lastly, Layered composites are an ideal choice for complex curved structures as they can be formed on molds and the manufacturing process is additive. This contrasts with parts made from other materials like metals which typically start with a block or sheet of material and requires the removal of unwanted materials as per design requirements. Let's summarize the key takeaway points from this lesson. Layered composites are one of the most commonly used composites in engineered structures. Depending on the applications, layered composites can either be simple to create and may be less expensive, or the process could be much more involved with higher costs. Layers of composite materials can be easily added and or oriented to meet the stiffness and strength requirements of the design. 
Layered composites also allow flexibility in different materials used in different layers. Lastly, layered composites can serve as a perfect choice for modeling complex curved structures due to the advantage you get with the layering process over other materials like metals. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching and do check out other courses to discover more useful learning resources.